Now, high streets may be suffering in these times of austerity, but research suggests our traditional markets are doing better. Oh, yes, more than half the market traders questioned in the region say they're doing well and have suffered no loss of sales despite the economic downturn. Bob Hockenhall reports. 35. Bilston Market in the Black Country, still a focal point of the community. I just like the atmosphere, just to go out what I can find cheap. It's still as good as it's always been. This is much better, much more sociable. I mean, if you come more than a couple of weeks, you get to know the storeholders. Oh, it's very competitive, isn't it? Very competitive. There's a lot of bargains around Bilston, like, you know. Like most markets, it has a reputation for cheap goods. Apple pies, two for a pound. Come on, folks, scratching street for a pound. And many of the 150 or so stall holders here say that's why business is still brisk. I don't think it's going down. I think if you're cheap enough, you'll take money. You've got to be cheap. If you're not cheap enough, you won't take money. So how are markets faring in these tough economic times? Well, a survey of traders in the West Midlands found that 19% thought business had increased, 38% thought it had stayed the same, and 43% thought it had decreased. Do the sirloin again? You might as well have it. Though. Meat seller Derek Brooks is one of the pessimists. He says his sales have more than halved in 10 years. What I do see is that there's less young people coming less younger people coming onto the market. I don't know if it's the way they're brought up or it's just because of all this online shopping. Look around and it's true, the majority of the shoppers here are middle-aged or older, something market traders want to address. We always say the young children are, are the future. If you, stop, if you start losing the younger, then obviously there'll come a time when, unfortunately, the older generation, uh, you know, unfortunately, they sort of pass and you won't see them around the market. But up to now, despite the march of the supermarkets, it appears many markets are holding their own. Bob Hocknell, BBC Midlands Today, Bilston. Still to come.